Skull, and welcome back, my shield wall. I am Jarl Bear, and welcome to the next part of our Ungrim Iron Fist campaign for Total War or Harma 3. We're picking up right where we left off at the end of episode 1. This is episode 2, we are on turn 7 to begin today, and we are still at war with the Red Eye Greenskin tribe. Last time we did take Ungrim's hold. And then we kind of sidestepped them so that we could take Yarrow Peak so that we could get some more income and try and split up their army. Unfortunately, they did not follow me like I had hoped and instead took Ungrim's hold. So we have some grudges to write as we need to de defeat Ornery Backslider and retake Ungrim's hold. And we also need to reclaim Fallen King Mountain so that we can complete all of the Rib Peaks and the Peak Pass. Once we have these four settlements, I will feel comfortable to either go after the Crooked Moon or probably more likely we should focus on the Bone Rattlers with Azog up here. But for now, our focus is the Red Eye and taking back these holds. I am in the underway stance. We are trying to get over there as quickly as possible. We have this nice 16 stack right here. I'd like to add more, but we can't currently. But it's a nice little arrangement here. We've got five warriors, three slayers, a troll hammer torpedo, two quarrelers with great weapons, two slayer pirates, and a thunderer. So we have two turns left until our technology is done. We are currently researching the heavy kern stones so that we can get the growth up. And as far as diplomacy, we yes. have met Karaza Karak, and we're starting to get some better relations with them. I'm hoping to get, you know, non-aggression or trade with them soon. Zufbar, we're also repairing our relations because of the historical relations with Zufbar, which is negative 68. But they do like what we've been doing against the Red Eye, and soon the Dawi will fight together. We do have a non-aggression with Bastone, who's to our east. That could be a very strong ally. I would like some trade with them, but not quite yet. It's going up though, so maybe in a couple turns we can get trade with them. Ostermark, we also got non-aggression, so we don't have to worry about our west, our northwest at least. But we do have Sylvania to our direct west, so I am a little worried about Vlad von Karstein or Azog coming down. So we're just going to have to keep an eye on our borders and make sure we don't get bushwhacked by one of those less savory factions. So with that being said, we don't have any quests other than to get Slayers so that we can get Garagrim Iron Fist, our own son. And I think that about wraps up our intro for today, so let us dive in, Ma Dawi, on the turn 8. We shall see what the end turn brings us. Let's see what the Red Eye do. Two hundred and sixty-two factions left. what happens maggot pig kissa will probably try and attack them next turn but I don't know maybe maybe we should sidestep them again and get up to Ungrim's hold because I'm worried that they'll try and take Karakadrin I do not want to lose that especially since they are raiding us currently the slayer in me seeks death Then. Yeah, okay. Pop up, take Ungrim's hold, fo follow Orner's Ornery Backslider. That's my plan. That is the current plan. Let's get after it. Come then, you dreaded greenskins. I've got an axe with your name on it. I do have to be careful because we do just have the one army. And I don't want to get surrounded. Oh, yep, there he is. Hi, Azog. Yep, could have saw that coming. Not surprised. Not surprised. I fumbled this a little bit because we should have tried to wipe this up quickly so that we could then turn our four provinces against Azog. So, slight fumble. I think we can still take care of this. Okay. Oh. a lot of gobbles. Luckily that's really all it is, just gobbles. Valiant Defeat, I'm gonna try and pull back. 
Yeah, okay. War fervor, always war fervor. Yeah, they are headed for Karakadrin. Bro, your forces, okay. What? Yes, my oath is intact. Karak Kadrin weeps. There we go. So we can take Ungram's hold and then we can get over there after Ornery. We're going to get a good amount of grudges for that. 422. We'll get 94 for retaking Ungram's hold, which is also good. Our technology is done, so now I'm going to turn our attention to clans. I want that Vanguard proficiency, armor plus 10 and speed plus 15% for Coiler and Ranger units. That'll be good since that is a backbone of our army. We are on turn 9. Alright, onward to turn 10 we go. Zufbar is at war with the Scabby Eyes now and the Bone Rattlers have declared war on us. Alright, alright. Looks like they've expanded and took all of black water. Good job, Zufbar. Come then, messenger. Spit out your work. Yeah, you still don't like me yet. Ready? We're getting there with you. Almost got non aggression. Almost got trade with Ostermark. Welcome, ancient. Ooh, I'm not giving you five thousand just to trade. Yeah, no, sorry. No no no. The next turn, hopefully we can take Ungram hold. Let's see what happens. Come on, ya green skins. Give me a good fight. I'm guessing they're gonna lay siege to Karakadrin. Come on. Yep, they did. And their second army went back after that other Yarrow Peak that we took. That's fine. I expected that to happen. That is okay. Ah, to die in battle. Yes, for Slayer Cape. Take that real quick. That's an easy auto resolve. Occupy that. Standard of discipline gained. Got the entire province again, which is awesome. Right. Bone Rattlers have declared on Tyler Beckland, which means we might have a new ally. Let me think about it. No! And they did leave Fallen King Mountain open, but it is a decent garrison here. Saying Pyrrhic victory if we attack. They have mostly goblin wolf riders. Do we have walls? Yeah, we do have walls. So we'll make them attack us and we'll defend the walls and the, half their army won't be any use to them. All right. I must fulfill my slayer but Ungrim is coming. He's going to come save the day. One more. Warrior, just to round it out a little bit. <laughs> it is Ungrim, I'm going to give you Axe Lord, melee defense plus four for miners, dwarf warriors, and longbeard units. Always a good skill to get at the beginning of the game. I grow restless. And then Garim, I'm going to give you Rune of Oath and Steel, buff our boys. That when we're holding that shield wall, they are able to hold long and true. All right, Yarrow Peak, I would upgrade you, but uh, you're probably gonna fall here. So. Venerate the ancestors and on to turn 11. But at least we've retaken Ungrim's hold and we could take Fallen King Mountain pretty easily here, but I need to go make sure that army does not take Karakadrin. As much as I would like to turn our attention on that and focus on taking Fallen King Mountain, I need to make sure Backslider does not somehow take Karakadrin from us. 
Especially now that Azog, I can actually see him there. That is not a good sign. Want to make sure we take care of this quickly so that we can turn our attention to the north. Oh, Pink Kissa actually fell back. Interesting. Then, go ahead and upgrade you real quick. I am the Slayer King. My vows will be satisfied with this. And then Ungrim, you're gonna run over there so that we can attack Ornery Backslider. Yeah, we're gonna go kill some gobbos. I guess we can start upgrading this. They'll probably attack it, but we're gonna try and upgrade just in case. Diplomacy. I am ready. Oh, you're scary. But you want non-aggression, so that's good. So Austin Markle's trade. The dwarves have come. And military have access. Few battles of Can you give me some money? Fight? Yes. Very good. What? Very good. All right. Got that trade agreement done, so we got 750 treasury from that mission. And now, on to turn 12, Ma Shield Wall. Let's kill us some gobbos. We're going gobbo hunting next turn. Two hundred and twenty-nine other factions still remain as we are on the war math. Oh dang it. Azog's boys are here. Very well. I knew Ungram did have a slightly difficult campaign, but Yeesh. All right, so we are going to try and defend the walls from these gobbos. Let's get to it. To arms, Madawi. We must fight. All right. Let's defend the walls. They're attacking from three directions. Ray. All right, that should be okay there. It is a reckoning. There. Warriors. Yeah, you quarrelers, you go over here. For the ancestor gods. Then good. Up here. Grab that. Dwarf warriors. Pull you guys over here. Piercing tower and another one right there. All right, let's do this. Shoot, please. Shoot, please. Why can't you shoot? is happening what the heck 
There is some pathfinding issues over here. here Here we go Actually, you fight there. Get down. Back over here. For the ancestor gods. Like that. Full of arrows. For the high king. Get him. We demand blood. All right, all right. We're putting up a good fight. We can do this. For the ancestors. Lord, yes. Okay. Slayers. War of vengeance. Understood. Bring the arms for the ancestors, miners. There we go. Okay. We demand blood, dwarf warriors. Kadok. Ah. We go. Yes, vengeance for the ancestors. Get on in there. Slayers. I am the ranking lord. We demand blood right now. Drag them. Get them. Dwarf warriors, warriors. There we go. Broke their lord. Dwarf warriors, warriors. Down. Axes out. Take your time. Kill their lord. Well. Block that. Them, fight them, there we go. Okay, we're starting to win that gate. I forgot about it over here. Okay, 
Okay. Looks okay so far. I love this map though. Very cool map. There we go. Find your targets. Warriors. Get up. For the Karazankor. Actually, I want you guys to keep chasing them. For the Karazankor. You three get in there. Warriors. Get over there. Gates are destroyed, but that's okay. There we go. Get in there, Slayers. Yes, we're winning this side. We can pull out a victory here, I think. Kill them. For the there we go. Kill them. At the very least, we are going to make them pay for this. Quite dearly. There we go. There we go. One that over there. Go help them. Oh, I see. You sneaky buggers. You guys get in there. Them. Keep chasing him. That you guys, come on over here. Kill them. They're making our way their way to our center, so we need to pull that back. Try to get some towers up. Bounce power is looking good. We just need to make sure they don't take our center point. You guys get on in there. Good. Warriors. 
Dum. Dum. Good. Okay. Now we just pull everybody back, defend the center, and we should be okay. There we go. Losses are kicking in, and there we go, my shield wall. The brilliant defense of Karakadrin. All right. Now I guess let's just rack up as many kills as possible. Send that in. Them. Yes. All right, so we can just fast forward through that. Kick some damages in, yeah. Just get as many kills as possible. I think everyone's out of our settlement now. All right. A Pyrrhic victory, but I will absolutely take it. The defense of Kerkadrin is successful. We deployed 810 in our garrison. We lost 295, which remains us with 515. They had 1,682. They lost 1,233. They remain 449. Look at the Slayers. 208, 207 kills. This one warrior, 132 kills. Their, go their goblin wolf riders really were not able to do anything significant there. With the walls and everything, they just weren't any help. I am very happy with how that defense went. Huzzah for that, my shield wall. So back to the campaign map we go. There's really not much left of this army. So we're going to have Ungrim wipe out whatever is left of them. And then we can turn our attention on... Well, the rest of the green skins. I believe my shield wall. With that brilliant defense of Karak Kadrin, I have hope again. All is not lost quite yet, laddies. Get replenishments. Actually, yeah, just drink to victory. Siege lifted. We're gonna be able to catch them. Yep. Research Technologies is our new mission that was issued. Fog rubs coming. I must fulfill my slayer of. Yep, decisive victory. Auto resolve that. Kill what's left of that army. Get our replenishments. And then Ungrim. We're gonna make a run for Ungrim's hold. Try to be as close to that as possible. Maggot Pig Kissa is coming for Jarl Peak. Jarl Peak also has walls, so we might be able to mount another defense again if they start sieging us down. Moongrim's gonna have to focus on Bogrub here and Scafag. Neck snapper. Gotta kill that guy. Snap his neck instead. And then hopefully we can finally take Fallen King Mountain, but at least we have all of Peak Pass again. That is a good thing. We got Runesmith Apprentice, Teller of Tales. Ungrim is now Orc's Bane for winning multiple victories over the Greenskins. Leadership plus five when facing Greenskins, which is great to have since that is our main enemy in this campaign. Two enemies killed. Dice of victory and a Pyrrhic victory. And then we'll take care of the raiding here shortly. Bye. Ungrim, Tapestry of Oaths. Thunderer. 
Say Thunderer ammunition plus 10% for Quarrelers, Thunderers, and Rangers. That extra ammo will be really good to have as we're fighting bigger battles. Check out Diplomacy again. Yes. Okay, so they almost All want trade. Honored dwarfkin. Yeah, I'm not going to pay almost 4,000 for trade. Sorry. Sorry, but no. You're not right, Dad. All right. So on to turn 13, we go, my shield ball. To see what the end turn brings us this time. My guess is Bogrob will attack Ungrim or Ungrim's hold. Ooh, look at that. I was right. What? We're not close enough. No, I thought we were close enough. Hey, at least this is a de this is a basic army, so we can win that battle. We can definitely win that battle. We will retake Ungrim's hold, and that's 355 grudges right there that we're gonna claim. Red Eye fell back, so did Maggot Pig Kissa. Wow, okay. So Yarrow's Peak might actually get to upgrade. Vanguard proficiency is complete. Garum got a rank. Planless Dwarfs, we got positive. Growth at Yarl Peak, which is even better. Ostermark is destroyed, which is unfortunate. We no longer have that human ally. Two turns until Yarl Peak is done. Ready. Yes, for Slayer Cape. Garim, I'm going to dampen enemy winds of magic power reserve minus ten. That way. This night gob. Oh, he's a war boss. Okay, I thought he was a shaman. So, well, still a good thing to have when facing off these magic guys. My command is a. So now we siege. It says Pyrrhic victory. I think we can win this because it's just boys, skulkers, and arrows. I mean, there is one tiny wolf rider, but I think we can do that. We should be able to hold on just fine. But that is what we will start next week's episode with. So join me next Friday as we face off against the Bone Rattlers to reclaim Ungrim's hold. Today we did reclaim that, defended Carrot Kadrin, and was able to start facing off with the Red Eye. But the Bone Rattlers have come down from the north. So we have new greenskin foes to defeat. I hope you enjoyed today's episode and you're enjoying this new Kerkhedrin campaign. If you are, please make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and bell button for me. If you ever have a comment, suggestion, or name idea, or anything at all, leave that in the comment section down below for me. I do read all of your comments and I love when you leave them for me. If you ever want to support me further, check out the links in the description of the video. Everything from my humble bundle, to my discord server, to becoming a channel member. But speaking of channel members, I'd like to say a huge SCHOOL and thank you to my Huskarl tier. That's a big shout out to Cole, Camelot, and Twisted Fate. Thank you guys so much for choosing to support me that way. I really appreciate it. It really means a lot to me that you would support me monetarily like that, and it means a whole lot to me. So thank you so much for that. But that is enough from me for today, my shield wall. As always, I am Jarl Bear, and I will see you in the next episode. Kazakit, Kazakin, ha! Thank you so much for watching.